Hello everyone, welcome to getting started with Market XLS. Market XLS has helped more than 5,000 customers to implement their own investment research strategies and monitoring systems in Excel. Market XLS has been used by wealth managers, universities, and individual investors just like you who have taken control of their portfolios. In this video, we are going to show you some features of Market XLS to help you get started. We will talk about which functions to use, how to get historical data, how to get options data, fundamental and technical analysis, and everything that will help you understand how to use Market XLS better. Congratulations on your purchase of Market XLS. Here are the next steps you will be taking to get started. First, you will see how to install Market XLS. Download the MSI file from the link in your email. Install the software. Once Market XLS is installed, you need to apply the license key sent in your email to be able to use the software. Then, go to the Settings Help menu on the Market XLS ribbon and click on Apply License and save the information. If you have purchased the real-time data, then there are a few more steps. You must sign exchange agreements to get real-time streaming data. Once signed, then you'll be able to use streaming data functions. Follow these steps and real-time data will be ready to stream in your Excel. Now we will look at validating the install. Market XLS should show up as a menu on your Excel. Click on FX functions and the list should include MXLS functions. If functions are giving NA or not showing up, just delete MXLS by going to Control Panel and try to reinstall. Make sure to check in the Control Panel whether Excel is fully installed and not the web version. If you see the functions and Market XLS menu, then everything is working fine. You can further validate it by typing a simple function like equals last MSFT. Copy and paste to see a result. Market XLS functions are custom functions that work exactly like any other Excel function. Start typing the function and Excel will suggest related functions for you to use. You can download the functions list from the settings help bar. Another way to see the functions is to click on the search and help on the left side of the bar. There are three types of functions. Number one, instant functions are these ones. Equal sign last parentheses, equal sign ask parentheses. Number two, refresh on demand functions. Utilize the functions equal QM underscore last. These return a please refresh value in the cell. The values refresh every time you click on refresh all or refresh selected. Number three, real-time streaming functions. These do not require you to click on refresh. They change in real time when the markets are open. To get real-time functions, start typing equals QM underscore stream and you will see all the real-time functions. Let's look at equal QM underscore stream underscore last for Microsoft and QM underscore stream underscore ask for Apple. Market XLS functions can be found by clicking on search and help here on the top left or simply by opening the tool panel. Search the functions you need and copy the function by clicking on the example. Paste it into your Excel. Market XLS templates can be found in the Market XLS tool panel on the right. Click on the templates and download the template you need. To do any analysis on stocks, we first need stock symbols or tickers right now. As you can see, we do not have any stocks in our sheet. So, let's go to the utilities dropdown. That's where some pre-made lists are available to you, which are constantly updating. You can have market movers for exchanges. Let's try and use the market movers list and see what happens. Let's see NASDAQ top gap ups. 
and the required data is immediately displayed. Next, you can have an option chain or dividend history. Let's check out useful lists now. When you click on useful lists, you have a list of different stocks such as US ETFs, cryptocurrencies, stocks under $10, and many more. Let's start with maybe S&P 500. Now that we have symbols in our sheet, we can start using Market XLS to get any information we want for these symbols. We can use Excel's built-in function browser to see all the functions that are available. When you open the functions browser, you will see numerous categories that appear. All these categories have hundreds of functions. You can select any of these categories to browse through the functions that are available. Now, since we're dealing with stocks, let's focus on stock functions to use a specific function. Let's find the current ratio, Agilent Technologies. Simply start typing the function, and Excel's built-in IntelliSense will suggest various close options that are available. There is a watch list option. It allows you to save your own stock tickers in lists and allows you to export them in Excel. After saving the watch list, you can see your watch lists in the dropdown. Let's see how you can pull your watch list. Go to Market XLS, click on Watch List, and load selected watch list. Then throw in Excel. Now, let's look at how to get historical data. One way to search for functions, you can click on Search and Help, which opens a right-hand panel. Simply copy and paste the functions to review how they work. To find historical data, click on Historical Fundamentals to filter through all the historical data. There are many functions that start with equals HF underscore, that offer historical data such as accounts receivable, EPS, cash flow, revenue, and many more. Market XLS offers multiple ways to obtain historical data and from multiple stocks at one go. Another way to get historical data is to click on Custom Dates to get open, low, high and close historical data of stocks. Highlight a cell with a stock ticker and click on Custom Dates. Select the dates, the from date and the to date. Let's get it from January 1st, 2020 to December 31st, 2020. Filter it according to your use case. We are going to get daily historical data from the past year and in descending order. All of the data is nicely formatted and the dates are properly handled to save your time. Now, if we want data for multiple stocks, simply click on the cells that have the symbols and click on the Custom Dates button on the menu under Historical Pricing. And let's get daily data in ascending order this time. Similarly, we can also select minute data or yearly data. Let's see how we can find the option symbol. Let's fill out some basic details. Stock ticker is MSFT. Let's fill the company name and the last share price. Pick an expiry date. We have a table for reference. Put the strike price for which the symbol is needed and the direction, that is, call or put. Let's put all of it in the formula now. Alternatively, to find an option symbol for a stock at a particular date, Use the function equal option symbol, symbol, expiry date, call or put, strike price. You can also find the options bid 
ask and last price. Use the functions equals QM underscore bid option symbol equal QM underscore ask option symbol and equal QM underscore last option symbol. To get option chains, go to the Utilities drop-down and select Get Option Chains. Or you can also type in the functions equals QM underscore Get Option Chains parentheses to get the same data. Welcome once again. If you have any questions regarding Market XLS, you can send us an email at support at marketxls.com. You can also chat with us through the chatbot on our website. You can also book an onboarding call with us to get help with setting up Market XLS and how to implement their use cases using MXLS. You can also attend our office hours, which are held Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Feel free to call us at 1-877-778-8358. There can be numerous use cases applicable for Market XLS, and that's the beauty of having it in Excel, which is in a way a sandbox itself with numerous capabilities. We're looking for your feedback, comments, and suggestions, and we're constantly updating Market XLS, and we target to have all stock exchanges and numerous utilities in this software to boost your productivity when researching stocks. We hope you like this software. Please feel free to contact us at support at Market XLS, and thank you very much for being one of the customers of Market XLS. We look forward to hearing from you. You are all set, so start using Market XLS.